Hey guys, and welcome to the second episode of Launcher Reviews. Today, I'm going to be going over the Honeycomb Launcher and some other launchers. So, the Honeycomb Launcher is an add-on to your current launcher. It's basically make to make your apps and quick settings more accessible, and it's great for multitasking. So, let's just get onto the page of Honeycomb Launcher. So, it's by Launcher Apps. So, do everything in three seconds. So, quick, easy, elegant. So, it's supposed to just let you do any functions in only three seconds, like call friends, text, launch apps, and toggle system features, all in three seconds. So, yeah. So, right now, I'm using Nova Launcher, and this is what I use right now. This is on the Honeycomb. What it is, as you can see at the top right, I don't know, I'll just move my Google thing down. So yeah, you can see a little honeycomb at the top right, so when I click that, it'll bring up the honeycomb interface, which has some of the apps I put on there, and some of the settings toggles I put on there. So yeah, we can put on vibrate and stuff, and then we can put on lock screen. There's just a bunch of plenty of things we can do. We can turn off our brightness and turn it down. So yeah. So... The reason I really like the Honeycomb Launcher is, number one, I can still use Nova Launcher, which is my current favorite launcher, and then the multitasking. So let's say I want to, I'm want i looking at the Play Store, and then I don't want to have to um, bring up the multitasking window. I can just quickly click this, do that, and then boom, I'm just loading up Clash Royale. So I think this is a great launcher to use. Because it's a very quick and just makes everything way more accessible than it is. So I definitely recommend it. So I, yeah, I just really like the way it works. How you can just switch things, toggle things, all just by bringing up this little honeycomb menu. So I definitely recommend it. And okay, so now we're going to get on to the next one. And the reason I'm including two launchers is because it isn't really a launcher. It's kind of just like an add-on. So let's get to the next launcher. So the launcher that we are looking at today is Smart Launcher 3. And the reason I picked this launcher is because you can tell from the pictures that it has a very um, minimalistic, simplistic design, I guess you could say. Because you got, looks like you got six just base apps on your home screen and then you can access all the applications from there. So I think this does have potential, like we'll just have to see how good multitasking works with it and stuff like that so let's just open it up so yeah it's meant to be a faster lighter and more organized android welcome to smart launcher 3 except uh well i want flower i think yeah set up uh, i don't want to do this okay well so now let's just select the launcher. Okay. Flower. Come on, I don't want to do this. Just let me go home, please. Why won't this work? Okay, I'll just do it. Web browser, Chrome, gallery, I want gallery. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Sorry about that. But... So, so far, I like the look of this. Uh, I'm not going to use the honeycomb right now. So, we can search contacts and apps. Then, we got our three things right here. So, then this is our applications. Okay, I do like the way this is organized. We got our games, utility, settings. And then, we got just internet and communication. Uh, so I do like the way it's laid out. So let's see how customizable this is. So let's see if I want to put Clash Royale on my home screen. Okay, I cannot put it on my home screen, I don't think. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we remove, like, this, then can I put... Clash Royale on it. Nope, I don't think so. Now let's try just doing some things like change. Okay, so there we go. 
add an icon. Okay, so we want like a generic app. Then we'll find Clash Royale. It shouldn't be C, so there we go. Okay, so that actually is really nice. Now let's try changing the lock screen, I guess. Okay, so we do have different lock screens. I think I'll go with, I like black hole, I guess, because that's the free one. Oh, oh, I didn't want to install another one. But this is very nice. So let's just see. Okay, so I can slide left just to get into my things. It's nice. And multitasking. Uh, just same multitasking. So, I mean, I think this has potential. I don't think I would say this currently beats Nova Launcher, but I do really like it. Like, if you just want a simplistic Android that won't give you much trouble, then I think this is a great launcher. And you should definitely check it out. But I think for me personally, I'm going to stick with Nova and Honeycomb. So, thank you guys for watching, and bye.